Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte has sanctioned a bloody drug war that features extrajudicial killing. He called Barack Obama a son of a whore. This week, he boasted that he murdered a man with his own hands. All that went unmentioned in public by President Donald Trump when the leaders held talks on Monday in the Philippines. Reporters saw the beginning of the leaders' bilateral meeting in which Trump praised Duterte's hospitality, the organization of the summit he was hosting, the great relationship the two leaders enjoyed, and even Manila's weather. Trump said nothing about human rights, and both leaders ignored shouted questions about the violent drug crackdown. Breaking with his presidential predecessors, Trump has largely abandoned publicly pressing foreign leaders on human rights, instead, showing a willingness to embrace international strongmen for strategic gain. Duterte's war on drugs has alarmed human rights advocates around the world who say it has allowed police officers and vigilantes to ignore due process and to take justice into their own hands. Government officials estimate that well over 3,000 people, mostly drug users and dealers, have died in the ongoing crackdown. Human rights groups believe the victim total is far higher, perhaps closer to 9,000. Duterte has strenuously defended the violence and boasted of participating himself. Late last year, he bragged that he personally pulled the trigger and killed three people years ago while serving as mayor of Davao City. And last week, while in Vietnam for an international summit, he said he took his first life years earlier. When I was a teenager, I had been in and out of jail, rumble here and there, Duterte said during a speech in Da Nang. At the age of 16, I already killed someone. He claimed he fatally stabbed the person just over a look.